Hey folks, how's it going? In this video, we're going to recap the atom. So let's get into it. So we're going to kick off the nuclear reaction subtopic by looking at radioactive decay. And specifically in this video, we start by looking at the atom, which should be revision from National 5 Physics. So you should remember that the atom is made up of three particles, electrons, protons, and neutrons. And you should know that electrons are negatively charged, protons are positively charged, and neutrons are neutral. And that the atom structure looks like this. So remember the protons and neutrons are bound together in the nucleus of the atom. We now know that's due to something called the strong nuclear force, which keeps the protons and neutrons together inside the nucleus of the atom. And remember we have electrons in orbitals outside the nucleus of the atom. And I'll just show you a quick simulation to help you visualise what the electrons are doing here. So this time we have an atomic model where the electrons are actually in movement, just to make it a bit easier for you to visualise. And there's our nucleus in the middle made up of protons and neutrons, and then we've got these electrons moving in different paths or orbitals around the nucleus of the atom. Going back to the notes now, we have this summary table for protons, neutrons and electrons in terms of their mass, charge and symbol. So for protons, we say it's got a mass of 1 AMU, where AMU stands for atomic mass unit. And we say it's got a charge of plus 1 because it's positively charged. And we give the proton the symbol little p. For the neutron, it's also got a mass of 1 atomic mass unit, 1 AMU. But it's got a charge of 0, remember, because neutrons are neutral. And its symbol is lowercase n. And then for the electron, we say its mass is 1 divided by 1840 atomic mass units. Its charge is minus 1 because remember electrons are negatively charged and the symbol is a lowercase e. And another thing you might remember from National 5 is that the atom is overall neutral since it always has the same number of protons and electrons. So that means the same number of protons, the blue ones inside the nucleus, as the number of electrons orbiting the nucleus. So for example, in our diagram here, we've got four protons shown, and that should match the number of electrons outside of the nucleus, but here you can only see three. But that doesn't mean there couldn't be another one, say, behind the nucleus here, for example, that we just can't see in the diagram. So in this case, if it was a stable atom, and we would have four protons in the nucleus and four electrons outside of the nucleus. It then goes on to say, in most elements, the protons and neutrons are bound together to form a stable nucleus. In some elements, however, the arrangement of the protons and neutrons is not stable. These unstable nuclei may emit nuclear radiation in the form of an alpha particle, beta particle or gamma ray in an attempt to become more stable. This is known as radioactive decay, and it was a definition that you should have seen in the radiation topic for National 5 Physics. So this is what we mean by the term radioactive decay. It's an unstable nucleus trying to become more stable, and it can do so by emitting an alpha particle, beta particle, or gamma ray. And remember that alpha and beta are both particles, whereas gamma rays are waves. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.